What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook. And today we're making juicy steamed chicken breast in the kitchen. Fast, easy and simple. Make sure you subscribe if you have not and turn on your post notification so you won't miss any of these uploads. And for all I'm returning goodie and I don't know so the girl loving it. Are you ready for cook? Come on, let's cook. <laughs> Alright goodies, so our chicken breast is nicely washed with salt, lemon juice and vinegar. I did remove the skin off and I did make slits into the chicken breast on the upper portion. To season, we are going to add salt and black pepper, onion powder and of course you want to add in your garlic powder. To give it a jazz, you're going to also add some kind of a season for flavor it up. So I'm using the Maggie All Purpose Season here. And then I'm going to go in and add some chicken seasoning as well. And of course, I'm going to add some paprika. And we're going to add some dried parsley as well and tap it off with some oil. Any kind of an oil will do. You want to go in and give it a nice little rub in. Make sure that your seasonings is well through and through. Spread it all through and through your chicken breast. Whatever you do, goody, just be sure that your seasoning goes into the slits of the chicken breast, just like we have it here. Now, after you have accomplished that step, you want to go in and get your cornstarch and drizzle just a little bit of that cornstarch on the top portion of your chicken breast. And when you do that, you're going to take your on and tap in the cornstarch into the chicken breast just like that do not rub it in just tap it in and you don't have to do it on the bottom portion of the chicken just on the meatier part of your chicken breast and you're done now moving right along in a pan we're going to add some oil okay not too much just enough to the oil you're adding about four to five tablespoons of butter and I'm using unsalted butter here about two tablespoons of chopped garlic a two tablespoons of homemade green seasoning I would also list the recipe down below this is my homemade one right I'm gonna list it down below so you guys can go ahead and follow otherwise they have many green season recipes or whatever you could find on your supermarket shelves that you could buy and use for your recipe right now after you've accomplished that right there you want to go in and turn your chicken on the meaty side down okay meaty side down bonus side up give it about five minutes after five minutes at a medium heat you go in and you turn this chicken on the opposite side now, whatever you do, you don't want to act like you cook brown stew chicken. You just want to give the chicken meat your part a little shabam so that these flavors could go in. Now, this is where the real happy part starts. You want to go in and add your Worcestershire sauce to it. What may I say it right you now? Mm -hmm. And then you go in and add some soy sauce. And as you can see, y'all, I'm not measuring anything here, but I will definitely put some amounts down below so you could follow that one. You know, mess it up, right? Go in and add some teriyaki sauce as well. The teriyaki sauce have a nice little sweetness to it. So, yeah, it's, it, it's really good. And of course, I'm generous with my honey. I'm generous with my honey. So go ahead and add your honey in of choice. Now we're going to go in with some orange juice here. Any kind of orange juice that you have in your refrigerator, go ahead and use that. If you want to go ahead and squeeze some oranges, you go ahead and do that. But I'm using about a cup of orange juice. And to finish up the recipe, I have some dried um, pepper flakes that I'm just sprinkling here. Cover it up and let it simmer. We got the keys to the bimmer. And when I was done, 
that's what we have here now it takes about i'll say maybe 15 to 20 minutes to simmer down but you want to be sure that your gravy is caramelized really really nicely and then you drizzle all over the chicken breast and you don't have to, you don't have to butter it just make sure so you get that nice glaze gravy on your chicken breast and again your fire is at a medium heat do not turn your stove top up too high because it is going to burn it and at a closer look y'all look at that you see how that nice that caramelized gravy is amazing it, it just comes together really really good this is how you want it to be you don't want it to be long a lengthy lengthy right and you just go ahead and drizzle all over your chicken and of course you could probably turn it at a, a little, very low heat when you get to this step but you just don't want to burn your sauce okay just be sure that you guys are thumbs up these videos okay because uh, if you do sister don't like it they will push it through and the video will go through now of course you girl had to put it on the plate right let's we'll put a little bit of decoration for you guys just to make it look nice and pretty took my um uh, my good sauce here in the drizzle all over that chicken and i was good to go this chicken breast was um very tender y'all it tastes amazing the flavors went right through the meat amazing look at that breast nice and juicy and filled with nothing but flavor that is it y'all i hope that you did enjoy this recipe please do not hesitate to like to share to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already tell a friend for tell a friend bring them come and send them come i am waiting i want to get done doing all of that tell me one when i want to see me i go next in i make kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy take me back to a place where i felt at home take me back to a day when we weren't